Hey guys, um, welcome to my channel. My name is Mirza Jimenez and I am here to um, put some products that I've been loving that have really been like helping me with my time. It's Danessa Myricks, the Groundworks Defining Neutrals Palette and the House Labs. Um, what is this one called? Shoot. Um, it is the Eye Library, Eye Library Eyeshadow Palette Volume 2, the Super Neutrals. Well, I think they're both the Super Neutrals, but this is Volume 2. And I've just been um, really enjoying these palettes because um, they've been really helping me with time as far as like not grabbing for like multiple products, but kind of just like reaching out for these two to do like multiple, you know, steps to my face. And um, yeah, so if that's something that interests you, um, you, you know, you've kind of been like trying to like save time, or then keep on watching. Okay, I actually already put primer on, but if you don't, if you don't have like oily face like I do, I do, um, then, then don't even worry about it, you know, um, cause this, this formula is supposed to have, well, it has Upswite in it, her patented formula for, you know, her cosmetics, for Danessa Myricks I'm referring to, um, and if, um, you know, that's, that alone is supposed to help already with oils, so, um, let me go ahead and put some on. Okay, so uh, I have used this a little bit for like some coverage, like as far as highlighting, but I still do put on foundation. But if you have like a really clear complexion, I don't even know that you would even need like foundation, maybe concealer. Um, but I, I do have redness and it kind of like progresses throughout the day. But I do use a light to medium buildable coverage foundation because um you don't have to have like your exact tone you know when it's lighter coverage like when it's full-on coverage when it's super pigmented that's that stuff is going to literally cover like your skin you know like there's no peeking through of like your natural skin tone and so that's where you have to be more spot on with you know otherwise well of course it blends with like your undertone but i'm just saying like if it's a little too yellow, it's, your face is going to be yellow. Like this, is, at first when I apply it, it's a little bit too yellow, but it kind of mixes with the color of my skin because my skin tone still kind of peeks through with it. And so it still works. But like, so I would say like, if you were trying to like, not worry too much about um, your perfect match because you just don't have time, get like a light coverage foundation, kind of like this or medium coverage. Or like a skin tint because that that's just faster to put on that's well that's according to me like how what I have found in my routine so let me just put this on really if I had more time to like go more glam I would but I just like these days I just don't have the time first if you have a brush I would you know recommend that but honestly um you can also use your fingers with this i mean because it's it's kind of like this like kind of like a putty kind of feel um and then it kind of like turns into a shadow when you put it on so i'm going to start with a transition shade which is this one i think you can see it right that already had like a color on there so let me use my fingers actually which kind of works out anyways because um it's like this is like super minimal makeup style and look um it's this routine is actually kind of faster anyways it's looking kind of yellow huh i think it's because i already applied that previous shade that was on my brush Unless it really cools this yellow. It's okay though. It's just transition state. I'm not really worried. And I, I like like a yellow tone on my eyelid. Okay. So now I'm going to deepen it up on the, on the edge a little bit with a brown. This color right here. Well, the, the pomade. It, there you go. I couldn't think of the word pomade. I said like putty. And again, this is just for work. I'm gonna lighten the middle a little bit. With that same 
finger that I use to um, do the inner corner, I'm going to take some of that white and actually dab a little bit under my eye. I'm not going to use concealer. Just to brighten it a little bit. I'm going to take like this, um, I think it's more for like concealer, but I'm going to take this like larger, what could be eyeshadow brush, but it's pretty big. And I'm going to put it in this that's literally called sculpt to like kind of sculpt up my cheekbones a little bit. See that? But this, um, brush is like loose, like it's not like a dense brush so it's going to like blend this out more as opposed to like if I got have like a denser brush I'm actually need my other hand Then I'm just gonna take that same brown color that I took on my eyelid. And um, since it still has pigment from the sculpt shade, I'm gonna also um, take some of that brown up and then put it on my forehead. And I'm going to work, so I'm not gonna, you know, I'm gonna be light handed. If I was going out, this may not be enough, but for work and those horrible office lights, it's enough. <laughs> so now I'm going to pick up only that brown shade and kind of bronze a little bit. I didn't intend to like just stick with this brush, but since the pans are kind of small anyway, it's kind of working out. I actually like that. Hmm. So, um, the last thing, well, not the last thing actually, hold on. I, I want to do the under eye. The under eye isn't completely like necessary for me, but I like to, I like to do it. I smoke it out. I think it does a lot to the eye. It opens it up because you're like contouring your eye, you know? Ooh, see, this is like buildable. Like I could just keep going all day with this. I love a good like eyeshadow look without eyeliner. I think it's just my eyelashes, my eyes in general, like my eyes kind of like droop down. They're a little bit smaller. I think somebody that's like, that has like wider eyes um, and like maybe thicker eyelashes doesn't feel the need to wear eyeliner, you know, but a lot of the times I did to look more awake. I feel like the eyeliner would really just like do most of the work. But ever since I started putting eyeshadow underneath, it's really helped like open my eye. Like dress it up, you know? So the last thing I'm gonna do, I know my eye looks kinda globby on this side. The last thing I'm gonna do is um, put some eyeliner, not eyeliner, lip liner. Um, I think I grab, I'm gonna try this one because I've been doing the dark ones and sometimes it's a little too dark. See how that works. Mm. Yeah, sometimes when I go with just straight up dark brown, it's just too harsh. So I'm gonna do that medium brown that I've been using for most everything and then deepen it up. But I like that warm tone that the other one gave it. 
And this one is this palette is amazing because they have so many warm tones to play with. Mm. Okay, here it goes. And this is just like unnecessary. At this point, I would be done and probably running out the door. But if I have like a little extra time to do some final work, final steps. Mm. I like it. Cool. Okay, guys. That's basically it. Um, again, you know, if you, if you thought this was rushed, it's, again, would be for work. Um, the only thing I would do is go, you know, probably run out the door if I was already dressed and everything. Take off my clips. Um, and then just throw some, um, I need chapstick, I need to throw some chapstick on. Let me just put on some powder. And that's literally it. The only thing I'm going to do, I'm going to grab this. Whenever I'm only using this for eyeshadow, I'll use these last three. But for this look here, since I want to like a little bit oomph, I'm going to take this last, It's this is literally a bio glitter, this one right here. It's an olive, they call it like an olive color. I'm going to put it in the middle. This one, it looks really light, but it's like a peachy color. It looks really light in the, in the camera. And I'm going to see if I can kind of do like a blush. It's like really, really slight, but it is giving me kind of like a warm color. But I don't think you can pick it up on camera. Okay, so the last, last thing I'm going to do, I'm going to try to use this color for a little wash of color. And this does have glitter, so like not a lot, but some actually kind of does have a lot. I've done this just to kind of glam my look up a little bit. One time I was like kind of desperate for like, not desperate, I mean blush is like so unnecessary. The whole makeup is unnecessary, but like I just really wanted to wash a color and I didn't have anything else with me. And so I just gave this a shot and I actually liked it. So I don't, the only reason why I'm not going to build it up more is because it has glitter. But if like it didn't have, I mean it's a shadow, you know, it's an eyeshadow. But if it didn't have the glitter, I would put more. But honestly, I've been liking it because it's been like the holidays. So I have not been minding a wash if glitter. But that did add a little bit of rosiness to my cheeks. And that's it. And yeah, that's how, that's how I would go to work a lot of times. Sometimes I would just put like glitter. Uh, not glitter eyeliner but other than that not really and I did like a full face the only thing that um, I had to do extra was the foundation but everything else was just the palette well the one palette and the mascara and that was it um so thank you Danessa for this really cool versatile multifunctional palette um I really love the formula and I've just been really loving this house labs which I want to get into more but that's going to be for a video just where I use this for eyeshadow um, because this is a bio glitter guys that's, that's amazing this in particular I think like these other two they they use bio glitters but this is like just a straight up glittery eyeshadow with the bio glitter I think that's so awesome um, I'm really into that like environmentally friendly sustainability all that stuff so it caught my attention for sure but anyways that was enough of that. Um, I hope uh, you guys enjoyed this video. And um, if you kind of enjoyed that style, um, I really um, would appreciate if you liked and subscribe. Uh, thank you for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.